kind of a circle. <laughs> Semi-circle. Something-ish. Somebody go that way. Something-ish. <laughs> circle, people. We're pagans. Yeah. We know how to circle. Come on. We'll be in this Okay. Fail error. Fail error. Fail error. Well, some of Lady Wendy's hydrophoria water. <laughs> Coming around. <laughs> Feel the blessing of our beloved Lady Wendy. to teach me how to read the clouds. Um, it did not stick, but it's not involved. <laughs> visiting Chosen Path. This man 
and I have been joined at the hip since Lady Wendy passed, trying to fill her shoes as deans and mentors. We've changed a lot of things. And we've actually have had people say that it was disrespectful to Lady Wendy to do that. But her loving energy that when we face a difficult situation with the Dean position, that's when Lady Wendy pops up at Chosen Path Church. She is telling us what to do. She did not wait her year and a day. She was working just a few weeks after passing. And Phoenix and I feel her presence a lot in what we do. So, I'm not, I have never said goodbye to Lady Wendy because I've never lost her. She is with me constantly. She is a mentor. She is a spirit guide. And she is a loving energy in my life. And I feel so truly blessed that she continues to love me through the veil. So that's my Lady Wendy. Uh, well, Lady Wendy is the reason why I decided to be a mentor at which school. She's the one that first asked me um, if I was interested in it. And I didn't meet her in person until last year at Illustration, but I had corresponded with her for years online. Um, and she's sort of set me a bit on the path that I have stayed on, and so I've, I've always been very thankful for her. And When Lady Windy passed, I didn't believe it at first, but my first phone call was to someone who I wish was here right now, actually. I'm looking around for him. John Anastasio. He's coming later. Okay, good. Um, but, and, and at first, like, I had to, like, just sit down for a minute and, like, be like, Lady Windy, are you really gone? And she's like, yeah. In her accent, like, I heard it. Yeah, but I'm not really gone. And, you know, when you said that she flipped right around and started doing work, you're absolutely right. <laughs> and, you know, so I, I called John and I was like, she's, she's not among the living anymore. And he went, oh my goodness. And... You know, immediately he was like, but she's she's beginning already. And I'm like, yeah. And so it's absolutely true that, sure, as any of you are standing right here, she's right next to us. And she can do it simultaneously now. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I will miss whenever I meet her, her asking me, how are you? Because she really wanted to know. It wasn't just a pleasantry. We're doing fine, Lady Wendy. Keep talking to us. <laughs> oh my, I guess it's my turn. Okay, well, let's, give me a second. <laughs> uh, Lady Wendy. I feel almost on the spot, even though I know we were all going to be doing this. But Lady Wendy was special to me, as she was special to all of us. Um, as many people I knew her mostly online and I find it weird I'm trying to talk to everyone here and then I'm trying to talk to everyone so when I do this I'm really sorry sorry um, so Lady Wendy was you know very special and I got to meet her at Lustration's past and even though it's a very bad habit and yes I should stop smoking a lot of my memories unfortunately are standing outside Lustration venues smoking cigarettes giving offerings <laughs> And we can have nice, huge discussions while smoking those cigarettes. So while I'm sad for my health smoking, I'm kind of also glad that I was smoking during those years so that I did get to have those talks with her. And now that Lady Wendy's gone, I'm gonna, I think it's almost time to stop smoking. So that's my plan for next year. And 
I don't know if Lady Wendy is like me and was addicted and that's why she's smoking and she wanted to quit or she didn't want to quit. Because some people that smoke, it's like whatever. So I'm going to do it in her honor and my family's honor. I will not be smoking at the next illustration. Got it filed. Woo! <laughs> And George is new to the tradition, so he doesn't know Lady Wendy, but I had many wonderful conversations via email with Lady Wendy. I'm now just finally meeting everybody face to face in the tradition, but I've been a part of the tradition for several years now, and I got to correspond with her. And I did do first degree mentoring a little bit way back when. So um, every time I spoke with Lady Wendy, she was very helpful, very kind. I loved seeing a lot of her posts and things like that. She had a little bit of a spunk to her, I think. I wish I would have been able to see her before she crossed over, but I'm sure that I'll get to like get to know her spirit and uh, get to know her through all of you that knew her so well too. So thank you. I only got to know her pretty much online, corresponding emails and which school. Um, and also I feel like I have gotten to know her through everyone else. Um, I would like to add that um, in Native American people's language, there is no uh, word for goodbye. So I wanted to say that. missed out on quite a bit, but I can see that there's still quite a bit of her here, and I can see it all around as I'm talking, and everybody's, you know, dwelling on the things that they've been thinking about, and I feel like it's going to be really easy to keep her here, and I'm going to learn a whole lot about who she was, and I already have learned quite a bit just from being here, it's been my first time, and uh, I look forward to getting to know who she was, because I feel like she's never going to be The only real dealings I had with Lady Wendy was online through which school, getting mentors and stuff, but she always got me what I needed when I needed it. Uh, I know more of her through Judy, which Judy will probably add to that. Um, I never, I didn't get to meet Lady Wendy until last year in person. Um, but she was one of those people, and when I met her, it was shocking because she was such a large spirit. <laughs> and then I was this little tiny person, and the, and it was how she didn't flow out of her body with all of just her her joie de vivre, her personality was just larger than life. Um, Her um, transition affected me so strongly. Um, but as with Lori, um, for you all, I got a beautiful candle from Aisha, and we turned that into our ancestors' candle. And the first time I lit it, I heard that Boston accent go, it's about damn time. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes it so much easier because she she's, a, she's just as busy in the afterlife as she was in her physical life. So I know Lady Wendy's still talking to me without her R's. <laughs> well, somebody that I obviously wish I had met but, no, not but, and, and what I would like to invite any of you to do is tell me stories of her, because it sounds like she's been an amazing influence and a lot of fun, and she continues to live through you guys, which people have already stated. And as they say in the wild, at the Wild Hunt online, what is remembered lives several different levels. So tell me your stories. <laughs> I'll actually second that one, tell me your stories. Um, I only had the pleasure of meeting Lady 
Wendy once um, when I was at an illustration down in Texas and the biggest thing I remember from, about her was she was jumping all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Being involved in every little thing and um, it was just she just didn't want to stop and that and I guess she never has and <laughs> this is my first illustration back and I don't know if it was her or just the fact that I'm a lot closer now, <laughs> but I'm I'm glad I'm back. I'm glad I was I'm able to be here to uh, remember her and uh, honor her memories. First time I met Lady Wendy was at our third degree initiation. It was the first time when we actually got all together. It was the first time. Uh, it was when Don finished writing the third de third degree, putting it in written form. We are all studying it. We are all the guinea pigs. Um, she has been an amazing friend. Anytime I need anything or just talk or get anything off my chest, she was always there for to listen. She was an amazing friend, amazing, uh, amazing teacher, mentoring everybody. If you've met her, she mentored you no matter what. I mean, you know, and a little piece of, us, of her will always be with us. I didn't have the privilege of knowing Lady Wendy, but I will say that I can feel her presence through everything that's being told here today. Um, I, I just can feel her standing around. And it sounds like that she was definitely a very influential part of this group. And um, I know that having ancestors is definitely a big part of who we are in our tradition. And um, I would like to say that I wish I had known her. And um, may she stay in here with us and listen to all the things that we're saying and continue to tell your stories because think that's why we're all here today is because of the people that have influenced us and that allows us to continue through with the traditions that we have. I didn't have a lot of interaction with Lady Wendy but my little bit was that she was very practical and <coughs> free. On the last group hug she was so excited to be in the group hug that she went off without without her cane. And because I have experience with my nine-year-old mom, I was able to support her hips to make sure that she didn't fall. And, and just her love of life and just, you know, just like, I, I'm just excited. And I'm just blessed. And also, she said, be careful with those herbs because I pack them and they will they will leak. <laughs> <laughs> that was my bag? Yes. <laughs> well, I got to know Lady Wendy closely when um, I became a mentor for Witch School and as other people have said she was Johnny on the spot. Anything you needed to know if you emailed her right away she answered. She always had the answer and she always responded very, very quickly, which was comforting and something that was special to me in 2016 and 2017 for Yule. She and I drew each other's names and were able to make handmade gifts for each other. And that'll be always be very special to me that I was able to exchange gifts with her. <coughs> There's not much that you can't say about Lady Wendy. It's all been said, it's all been felt. Um, I feel kind of blessed that I get to keep her updated of sorts, I guess you could say. Um, she was the one that did the, the, the Q&A map, the what there is in the Karelian tradition, and I'm tasked with keeping it updated. So I just, I feel blessed that I can keep her updated through that. So she knows all, well, just like she always did, <coughs> and will.
I first met Lady Wendy um, at the installation of Lady Stephanie, taking her role as first priest, and I wasn't part priestess. I wasn't part of the tradition at that time, but I was there to help support Angela and everybody. That's where everybody got to know me and me running around. And um, she told me, and she goes, "You're not part of the tradition." And I said, "Not yet." And she's like, so what do you think about it? I said, it's, it's a lot to take in. I said, it's a lot to learn. And she told me, she goes, you stick with these two ladies. She goes, they'll they'll tell you everything you need to know. She goes, she goes, but you're, she goes, I'll see you around. She goes, she goes, I'll see you at many more of these functions. Um, last year, we actually got into a bidding war over a pinnacle bracelet. And she won. And I don't know who took that photo, but she's doing this with the bracelet. I did. That is my favorite photo. So we're going back and forth bidding this bracelet. And we're pretty much the only two people, I think everybody else had argued, that the bracelet would even fit. I'm a big girl, but I have tiny wrists. And of course, Lady Wendy had tiny wrists. And uh, she won. And I couldn't have been more happy as if I had won myself because I know she'd love it. And um, I had given her, the first time I met her, she's loved my stone. It was a piece of Peter site. And I've actually, I brought some Peter site today that uh, we'll be offering. So, you know, she's just my, my memory. She's my Peter site. She's my memory and my connection to my higher self. So I probably have the most different relationship with Wendy of everybody. <laughs> um, I remember when she was one of the first six mentors. Um, I answered the first person to answer one of her emails. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, from the very moment, wanted to make a difference. And so my relationship with Wendy is magical. It's not tradition, but in our sense of how we develop the magic. And uh, the last illustration, which was two illustrations ago, with, with Wendy uh, dedicated with us, we were starting to talk about because of the passing of uh, say, uh, beloved Fox, which had struck deep into my soul, uh, a lost paladin. Um, we started talking about her passage and her the alignment of the crystal web. So Wendy built to help me build the crystal web along with Marianne Kay and a lot of other people. We went from a few thousand stones to over a million stones under her. And what was the crystal web that Wendy yeah. and I and others focused was on? The same thing that you're seeing in her symbology, a web. She was in charge of our communications. She was the web weaver and she basically, we talked about the dream telepathy, about how you know, they're starting to find out scientific principles. We talked about dream telepathy and how the ancestors worked and how much she was focused on being a channel at the end to prove the miracle. And there is actually a miracle dedicated to her from her passage. So we went from her passage, she was supposed to join us in the parliament. We went in mourning to the parliament. And I won't go into the mystery, but it is a, it is a mystery that is only, you can see her dead hand involved with it, and it ends in the same space always. It ends in a final hug, a final act at the Parliament. If you want to know where Wendy LaJoy's mystery is, the greatest mystery to show that she has returned, ask me about it when I can elaborate on it. But it did absolutely. And it gave us back something very, very precious. It gave it back a brother and a sacred grandmother into our tradition on this land. And Wendy and I prophesied that that would happen here. When she came to this river almost 12 years ago. So in sense, she is very much not just a guide of that. She's a guide of channeling. She lives in the crystal web. That's what she loved. She wanted to be here at least for a generation, as she said in her own words to me in the deep magic, to show that, that we can make this passage. And that has been her biggest hope when she had passed. Sure. Um, God, wow. All of you before me. Um, my thoughts on Lady Wendy are one word, profound. Um, I met her in Florida in 2016 when Gloria and I were being a hand facet. And, uh, very polite lady, very nice, but the real profound moment for me was her and Lady Crystal sitting together and they motioned me to come over and of course I'm a new guy, I'm like a little intimidated, but it was down with the head of some profound words for me that still ring true today. I couldn't see the, the I couldn't see the full picture then, but I guess they saw it. And Lady Wendy looked at me and she said, you worry too much. You will be who you will be. 
And Lady Crystal said, you will go far with things. Just have faith. And I can say today that I still feel her, still hear her words. And I'm truly blessed in my life for the strong women I have in my life. And she is definitely one of them. So that would be my word for Lady Wendy is that she was a very profound, very insightful, and very prophetic person. And I see everything coming to fruition. So my, I have to say, favorite memory of Lady Wendy, and it's not the only, would be my last illustration that she was at, the one I hosted. We were sitting around the table, and I had, Lord Ed had given me a bag of crystals, and they were in my bag, and they said we should plant some at the Moose Lodge to add it to the web and she said oh no we're gonna add one to all your bags <laughs> like, you're gonna use all my crystals She's like don't worry about it okay so I said we have four herbs to put in the bag so I opened up my herb box and she's like you have 30 herbs to put in your bag I was like yeah but we're only doing four different things she's like we're putting all the herbs in the bag <laughs> so the bags went from supposed to be having like this much to being overstuffed and they were leaking out and she's like Nobody's gonna care. We're pagans. So what? <laughs> How are cars are gonna smell good? And she was right. They still smell beautiful. They have crystals in them. <laughs> and I got to spend that weekend with her, and it was just wonderful. And recently, Lord Don had asked me to find something an email from somebody, or actually a message that was from last February. And I said, is he kidding me? <laughs> Do I remember who that was? Oh crap. And I messaged Alyssa and I'm like, for the life of me, I can't remember who it was. So I opened my messenger up. It opened up to that person's message. And I'm like, Alyssa, Lady Wendy found the message for me. <laughs> How freaking awesome. And I forwarded it to Lord Don. <laughs> so she will never be gone. She's always giving us messages. She's always helping us and guiding us and aiding us. And we love you. I'm not gonna say loved because we do love you. You're, she's always here. We love you. We love you, Wendy. I love you. I love you. Oh. Yeah, she loved you too. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> <laughs> So, Lady Wendy, we know you're here. We know you're with us all the time. Many of us feel you in our daily lives. You like to take over the radio in my car on a very regular basis. And um, this is not you to you too? goodbye. <laughs> yes. This is not goodbye. This is see you later. This is see you again. This is Mary we have met. Mary we have parted. And Mary, we shall meet again. again. So won't it be. So won't it, so it, 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 it be. So now we are going to take these blessed remnants of our sister, of our mentor, of our beloved ancestor. We're going to take this water, which a little dandelion seed that Mabel blew in landed right there, <laughs> which is very good for rebirth, I think. And, um, we are going to deliver them into the sacred Vermilion River. Um, our lifeblood, our chalice of Caridwin, our reincarnation. And Lady Windy, we will meet you again. Yes, <laughs> <Yee -hoo. laughs> <laughs>
Working started with a pop quiz about the connection between Lady Wendy and the Christian Love, but more than Lewis, did someone say something? Well, I'm trying to get your best side. That's all of it. Oh, pick one of his good sides. Listen. So, the, <laughs> so I had heard that uh, Lady Wendy's favorite stone was Amethyst. So I was hoping that you would all help me charge this bad boy and throw this into the ground. All right? Please and thank you. Has anyone ever made an access point before? Yes. Let's do it then. Um, all right? Who's going to start? Wait, 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 wait. Who has not made an access point before? Ooh. Could Good I do that? Oh, wait, no, I'm George. You can go ahead. Yes, I know. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm getting yes. the plan. Yes. 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 Everyone who has, who steps back? <laughs> I had the exact. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Um, so what I have here, I did have some ports to go in there as well. But all of you kind of like touch elbows together a little bit. All right, let's get this juice flowing in between each other. No, okay. Not with me. Ah. <laughs> all right, so for those of you on the outside, can y'all please get me some juice going in a clockwise manner? All right? And then also, I need one of y'all to start charging this and pass it around. Thank you, Lord Don, very much. Oh. 
<laughs> I thought you maybe wanted me to take the Step back, don't bump into anyone behind you. Alright, back folks. I'm gonna need y'all to give me a beat. This is the heartbeat. Center folks. Center folks, I'm gonna need y'all to give me double beat, okay?
Crystal Web is ours. We can use it however we see fit with palms to none. As we move forward, this is a great work with this tradition. Thank you. So motivated. So motivated.